Hey everyone, it's Chris here from Everyday Survival Gear. I'm not used to the time I count down. And so I've only got 30 seconds to do this intro, and I just wasted like 10. Alright, so we're going to upgrade this C8 that's really thrashed. Um, it needs like a new everything, and we're going to put one of those Osram W1s in there. Uh, they're the tiny, the tiny little CMLT, FUFP, whatever they're called. And uh, we're going to put a uh, Convoy 5 amp driver in there, change the glass, change the lens, maybe change an O-ring. Alright guys, so here's the parts that we have. Um, we got one of those new Convoy 17 mil drivers. It's not that new, but I'll put the camera down a bit. It's new enough. Um, you can now get these ones with the Biscotti. Um, this one is the one that has the temperature control and whatnot. Um, I order mine from Fast Tech because they're a lot cheaper than AliExpress. So yeah, um, we got one of these. The Osram LED. Uh, see the KW. This is the smallest one, so 6000K on a 20 mil MC PCB from K Domain. I've got a tail cap light. I've actually got two here. I don't know which color is which. I've got two. Got a new reflector because that light's thrashed. New lens and even a new O ring you can see over there. So this is the light itself. You can see it's very well used. Yeah, so as I was saying, you can see it's very well used. Probably got a bit of dirt there. It's probably just food scraped off everywhere, but it still runs. Actually, right now it doesn't run because the LED wire came out and I haven't fixed it yet, which I was meaning to fix for quite a while, but I haven't gotten around to it. So you can see that the uh, lens and that is pretty scratched. If you take it off, So the reflector looks good on camera, but you can see it is pretty worn. Can you guys see? You can see all the scratches there and shit. This is like a few years old now. It's had a few different LEDs in there and stuff, so it's going to see a bit of wear and tear. Um, and the lens is pretty shit too. You look at all those. Oh, look at that.
Uh, so I have to go back over the light because I definitely put too much um, thermal paste in there. Uh, I couldn't actually see what I was doing because I was looking through the camera and I put too much thermal paste in there. But you can see it's now all soldered in. The wires are on pretty good. Um, they do look a bit shit, the soldering joints, but basically you've got to push them down and make them as flat as you can because they're the LED is so low that the reflector is going to sit pretty low and you don't want it to short out. I do have two screws in there. They're not the stock screws because this light's really old. So I'm not sure how focused it's going to be, but um, I'll put the whole light back together again with the new parts and we'll see how it goes. Alright guys, we now are outside with the uh, Osram, we'll call it the W1. It's the one mil by one mil size LED uh, by Osram. And I must say, this thing is stupidly crazy. It's only in a Convoy C8, which is an old Convoy. I still got the old reflector because those new reflectors they got from Fastec, they didn't bloody fit. Oh, anyway guys, I'm going to overlay some um, Lux readings and some Candela numbers. I basically got, right, you will not believe this. Let me get the number out of my pocket. What's your name? What's your number? 182,052 CD. Like, legit. 182,000 CD from a C8. Now, you might call it bullshit, and I would probably say the same thing too, but this thing throws, alright? So, this driver has four modes, it's only on level three right now. Alright, that tree is at 100 meters, and look at how tight the beam is. That's like, tight. That beam is super, super tight. I can't really show you guys the trees further down. I can aim it there, so even on mode three, I can aim at those trees there, which are about 180 meters away. And it gets there like daytime, easy. Some pop up keeps on popping up on my phone. So this light is like amazing. I put it on high mode now, so that's as high as output. I will say like output wise, lumens wise, it's not actually too bright, but it's not too bad. It does heat up the C8 really, really heaps. Well, that's not even a word. It does heat up the C8 by quite a lot. So not sure what's going on there, but the C8 does get hot. So that's the beam and on its highest mode at 100 meters. Look at how tight that beam is. Look, right, if we just go into the air, look at how tight that beam is on that C8. And you guys can see it easy. That's a super, super tight beam. Go down to the trees at 180 meters, and you, you can probably see it on camera if I can see it this clear here. This thing froze like crazy. So I've had C8s with XBR HIs. I've got one out here now, which we will compare it to. But that one only does like 65,000 60, 65, CD, 66, 65, somewhere around there, I just measured it now. So it, it is in the stock, but yeah, so this thing throws three times as far as a stock C8 for XP or HHI. I've had C8s with XPG2s, C8s with XPG3s, C8s with XPOs with the dome on and dome off, and none of them throw anywhere near as far as this light right here. It's amazing. Alright guys, so this is the uh, stock C8 with the XPL HRI with the uh, Biscotti driver, so it's only like 2.8 amps, close enough to 3 amps, you know what I mean? So um, yeah, it is a neutral white tint, so you do expect numbers to be a little down. Maybe from the cold white you might get 70,000 CD or somewhere around about there, but we'll go to the tree at 100 meters, and that's how much of the tree it lights up at 100 meters, so you know, there's a pretty massive bloody difference between the two. We don't even really get to the trees at 180 you can just see them but nowhere near as good but for an all-round light I'll probably go with the XP or HI because it doesn't throw as far and the beam isn't quite as tight so it's probably more useful compared to the other C C8 but it's just amazing to see what that little LED can do so we'll put on the uh, C8 with the W1 with the Osram LED that's that C8 there so you can see side by side um, just the um, intensity of the beam makes it seem like there's so much difference. Uh, the beam on this one, on the done up one, it isn't even focused properly. I don't have a proper 30-30 size gasket in there. Um, you know, the reflector's old and shit. There's a few things that I can do to up upgrade it. I pretty much got the perfect driver in there because it is a 5 amp driver. But yeah, I'll turn off the uh, stock C8 now. You guys have seen that probably a few thousand times now. So you know what I mean? So like, we'll even go to the trees here, even closer. These trees. And look at how tight the beam is. This tree is only about 70, 80 meters, but you know, that's cool. Look at how tight the bloody beam is. I'll go back to the yard now. So, yeah, 
I think this is an awesome build. Everyone should probably have one. It's not going to be the most useful, but because it is in a C8 size light, you can still pocket it and carry it around pretty easy. Um, anyways, guys, when I do the final upgrades, I'll do another video and I'll show you guys, and hopefully it can reach 200 KCD, and then that'll be the ultimate C8 ever built. Um, anyways, as always, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe, and thanks for watching, guys.